You know what I'm doing with these fine shrimp that I have, right? What are you doing? I'm making you some dried shrimp. Ooh, yummy. Ooh, don't step back too far. <laughs> First thing I want to tell you is don't be jealous <laughs> of my shirt. <laughs> you can get one of these. This is an Exo Man shirt. Don't throw no net, won't catch no fish. Exactly. That's that's life, right? That's right. Seize the day, my people. So, what so do we, have? we have shrimp that are not not big. <laughs> Most of them are pretty small. There are some decent sized shrimp in there, but. So what I like to do with these is dry them. First thing I do is I cook it with a little seasoning. I like it very spicy. That's a very spicy crab boil or crawfish boil. Shrimp boil. Shrimp boil in this case. I'm gonna boil these up. I don't do that for very long. You see them turning pink right away? Look at that. Let's watch. Oh, Smell old shrimp there, we're getting a bowl. Just mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, now you see over here, I got my dryer out. We're gonna, we're gonna kick this thing on and get it warmed up. <clears throat> and uh, what I'll do is just put the shrimp on the various layers so they're spread out and spaced out. We're gonna social distance them, right? Yeah, they, exactly, that's right. <laughs> we don't want these shrimp breathing all over each other and, and giving us yeah. COVID. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so just a minute or so more, it only takes even big shrimp will only take about three minutes to boil. But we just want to get them opaque all the way through. <clears throat> and then we'll just, we can pop the heads off of them at that point and dry them out. We could have done it before, but no big whoop. What you cooking there? Looking good, meatloaf. Mmm. Mm. I used to buy shrimp when I went like this, dry little packs, 25 yeah. cents or so. I remember seeing in them. In general stores in Louisiana, mm -hmm. they have the little dried shrimp. Little country stores. Love that. Yep. All right, so those cook. I just brought them back up almost to a boil, not even a rolling boil. And that water is hot, hot, hot. So I'll let them sit in there and they'll pick up that flavor, that really spicy cayenne and and shrimp oil flavor, all the delicious herbs and such. And then I will put them in the dryer. Here we go, look at that. Perfect. Kind of crispy. Have you ever had dried shrimp that you, that you can recall? Mm, no. Mm. Mm. Pretty spicy, huh? That was a whole thing, too. It's oh, delish. What? It's a whole shrimp, like the mm -hmm. shell and the tail. Yep. and The shell, the tail, and the feet. It's very crunchy and delicious. Yeah, it's like shrimp mm. jerky, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's interesting mm. that that, it, that the texture changes like that with drying. It's not you don't really notice the shell, do you? Mm -mm. It's part of the crunchiness. Yeah, mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's good. I love it. Good. Thank you. Why don't you like it? So, so I have shrimp. That now, <laughs> I was I, I my my desire was to catch enough shrimp that we could make you know big shrimp that we could make shrimp creole. Oh yeah. In Jambalaya, mm -hmm. but off the pier back here in the creek, we only get these small guys. But we do get some big ones. Yeah. Well, we can always freeze the big ones separately and uh, mm -hmm. use those for a different kind of dish. Mm -hmm. But for Yummy. these small ones, I think Thank you. if any of you out there are able to catch small shrimp, you can use them for bait or you can 
dry them. You can mm. smoke them. It's just, there's just a, a number of things you can do with this. Yes. Make it pen. <laughs> I could do some stuff with that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a real good snack for dogs.